you seem so, so very confident, so powerful, um, elegant even, uh, on, on, on Hunger Games, of course, very powerful, um, on my favorite Game of Thrones. You know, you are a powerful woman. Mm -hmm. um, One queen to another. Yes, yeah. sister. <laughs> yes, sister. But, but I heard you had an awkward teen moment. It wasn't always as smooth for you as it yeah, seems. Yeah, I mean, I was just one of those kids, and it's unfortunately quite a common thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I was bullied very badly at school. Mm. From quite young, in Britain we call it primary school, so right. kind of like, you know, around like eight, nine, ten, and then into high school as well. And uh, it was hard, of course it was really hard. And when you're a kid or in a teenager, you think your whole world is your school and your town. It yeah. feels like the whole universe. I get fans writing to me actually about right. it now because I've spoken about it before. And, uh, you know, I think just talking about it helps people. Right. You know? Well, I was definitely bullied, and it was kind of the worst experience of my childhood growing up through mm. school because you just, you're trying to handle it on your own. My brother mm. and I, it was like we had to try to handle it. You know, we felt like we needed to um, because even if our parents talked to the school at the time, Which it was like... Which makes it worse. Yeah, so we, often, we still well, had to deal with it. it makes it worse. It doesn't mean you shouldn't... You think it's going to make it worse. I don't know. But it's something you have to yeah. go through personally. It made me the type of person, because my father taught us how to fight really well at a young age, but then told us not to use this to harm people. Mm. So it was like, well, I know how to kill this boy. <laughs> But you told me not to kill him. Okay, so, so but eventually it made me a defender of the, the, the weaker people, mm. people who didn't have the voice or weren't bold enough or were terrified, frankly, to stand, stand up for themselves. Yeah. I've, I've felt a deep compassion for other people. Yeah. I and I just really didn't want to see that happen. But luckily you did find your way out of that and you found your way through your awkwardness into theater. That became yeah. your escape, right? I'd say, I mean, maybe it's probably the same with you and performing, yeah. with mm -hmm. singing and, and rapping. Yep. It's like, I found that there, this whole world existed where all the black sheep, the mavericks, the mm -hmm. oddballs, this, that circus family. Yeah. The people, you know, uh, come together and then you finally find your, like, your, your creative voice and your niche in the world. Right. And that's when I really then started to find my... I, ironically, like by playing other people, I found myself. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, yeah. So, um, and then that's when. So I was kind of a late bloomer, but there's mm -hmm. no rush. I mean, yeah, you know. cruise along, get it done at some point. Yeah. I love talking.